Our today's crime story is about the Australian serial killer, the baby face serial killer, Carl Anthony Williams. He was born on 13 October 1970. He was an Australian convicted murderer and drug trafficker from Melbourne, Victoria. He was the central figure in the Melbourne gangland killings as well as its final victim. He was sentenced by the courts many times. After his conviction he was sentenced to life imprisonment. In his sentence he was imprisoned for 35 years, with non-parole for ordering the killings of his three main victims and conspiracy to murder a fourth the fourth one. The babyface serial killer enlisted the help of others willing to perform the contract killings in exchange for money. Carl Williams was admitted to Bud Meadows Technical School, during his early life, he left the school when he was only 11 years old. Carl Williams was living with his older brother Shane in Western Melbourne and with his friends. His brother Shane was died of a heroin overdose. He was married to a lady drug trafficker Roberta Mercica. She was also a convicted criminal. They had Convicted criminal. They had one daughter, Dakota, she was born in 2001. Cars Williams was actually a laborer. He tried to open a children's clothing store in partnership with his convicted wife, which eventually failed. Cars Williams, along with his father, George and another fellow, were arrested in November 1999. The allegation was drug trafficking after a raid on a fur close unit in Bud Meadows illegal drug factory. In this raid the police seized an estimated to be worth of 20 million amphetamine tablets. Cars Williams, the baby-face Australian serial killer, who described himself as a professional gambler, was also banned from the Crown Casino. His mother Barbara found dead in her Melbourne home. She had been suffering from severe depression. An interesting story about the baby-face Australian serial killer was published in press, in 2011. The story revealed that, the police authorities were paying the school fee of the serial killer's daughter. According to sources, Cars Williams helped the police to solve some important cases in exchange of money. In 1999 the Melbourne gangland killings rise, due Cars Williams. He was shot in the abdomen by another person, Jason Moran because he owed the Moran family $80,000. This gave rise to the underworld war known popularly as the Melbourne gangland killings. Mark Moran, a citizen was shot to death in 2000, at his home in Aberfeldy. Cars Williams was due to stand trial for his murder, but the charge was dropped when he pleaded guilty to other murders. In 2003, Jason Moran and another friend Pasquale Barbaro were shot while they sitting in Moran's car at a football club in Essendon. These murders were carried on Cars Williams orders by his two associates. These killings were witnessed by about six children. The victims were dead on the spot. In 2003, Mark Malia an associate of murdered underworld criminal, Nick Rave. Another person, name, Marshall was shot outside his luxury South Yarra home in front of his five-year-old son in the same year. Lewis Moran was fatally shot in the inner city Brunswick club in 2004. Cars Williams pleaded guilty to his murder also, by the court. Cars Williams was also convicted to conspiracy to murder gangland rival Mario Kondlo. His conviction was prevented from the media reporting until the day of his sentencing. Cars Williams was not charged for his alleged involvement in orchestrating the murder of Mark Moran, Jason Moran's half-brother. Cars Williams, the Australian serial killer, was already serving a 22 years sentence, in 2007, in charged murder of Michael Marshall murder in 2003. Cars Williams was sentenced for life imprisonment two times, for murders of Jason Moran and Mark Malia. Cars Williams. The Australian serial killer was also sentenced for 25 years, by the courts, twice.
twice, in 2007, in murder cases of Luis Moran and Mario Condlo. He was sentenced about more than nine times by the court in total, in different charges of murders and robbery. Cars Williams died from severe head injury while incarcerated at Barwon Prison in 2010. A fellow prisoner, Matthew Charles Johnson, who was convicted for the murder and sentenced in 2011 to 32 years in jail. There was speculation that the police may have agreed to pay the school fees in exchange for information and that publication of the story may have led to William's death. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching this video.